have uh, Alisa here, Jim, me, Max, and Sandy. We have Liney, Gabriel, Michael, and on on uh, Google Hangouts, and we have Sephira on the speakerphone. Sephira, there, right? Yes. Yeah, hey, hey, Sephira. Uh -huh. All right. So, uh, you know, we are publicly supported, meaning your donations keep on go keep us going, and Jim is taking the the um, how do you say reserves reservations for the. Uh, Private sessions on the phone, Skype, and Skype. Uh, uh, Alisa uh, here, Jim, me, Max. Ah, oh, that's Cindy. interesting. We have Liney, Gabriel. Oh, there is some some bug there. Let Michael, me see if I can. And on on uh, <laughs> Google Help, it's replaying. Oh uh, yeah, now it's good. All right. You were doing your replay. I was. Oh uh, yeah, I was watching myself. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, nice, it started before we started channeling. Otherwise, it would be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else to announce? Thank you for uh, yeah. Last week donations really you know kept us alive. I I am uh, looking for a job around the world applying. I had a couple of interviews through video and telephone, and I have will have in person interview elsewhere. My family is packing. We can't afford the house. We get, we live in uh, from the house, uh, and we are oh. looking for places to go. So if my 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 dream is to work on uh, research and development for laser therapy, Reiki, and things like that, so energy therapy. And uh, if you know, if you can connect me to people who are doing that or can finance that, that would be great. Right now, the things I'm uh, interviewing are close, but not exactly that. But I'm hopeful. Uh, you know, the closest I find is molecular biology, gene. Gene therapy and cell therapy, which is also very promising. It's more mainstream than energy therapy, but it is close. There are, there are some intersections. And I will start with a little bit of sound. And uh, yeah, yesterday we had uh, someone come through. It was very funny. It was a Frenchman. And Jim knows a little bit of French. And uh, I know only parle de, parle français, and that's about, you know, it was useless there. <laughs> and uh, uh, there was ten people around. Nobody knew French, so we couldn't really figure out who was that. And you know, he didn't speak Russian for sure, and no English. Uh, and the day before, we had um, uh, Pentin coming through with his prophetic poem, but I didn't have a recording on intentionally, so I invited him to come today. So we invite Pentin to come through today and read his poetry. But also there was uh, he was a, a Yale, and also there was a Yale girl who wanted to read us numbers from one to twenty and alphabet Yale alphabet. We invite her after painting if she can come, and everybody else with important messages and happy messages is welcome. Business advice is welcome. Lakesh would be welcome. We have again tons of questions, and um, other, otherwise we are open. We yeah the uh, the new reptilian species benevolent reptilians who joined the Gurfit near would be also welcome to come and introduce themselves. So lots of invitations. Oh, 2011, 
as a centre back, he's been effective as a, a right back in the second half with Raphael taking off at half time. The participants, please mute your microphones. There is a noise coming through. Now it's good. Hello. How the Greetings, the Cardinal. Yes. Nice to have you. How are you today? Great. Very good. Thank you. Good. Yeah, please, Sandy, uh, Lenny, Gabriel, Mike, someone else. Welcome. And Sephira. Welcome. Hi, take care. Hi, take care. Greetings. Thank you. Do I have news from the colonies? Great. They are now accepting DNA from those who are willing to give. Hmm. Excellent. This is a Monster. new proposal. There are so many that want extraterrestrial children, and there is much need for our expansion of knowledge of hybridization that this is a time honored space for this a good space for this we need to learn if there is human contact and we are intermingling as species what the outcomes could be should be and the best and the worst scenarios so that we might know how safe it is for our species to mate. Excellent. This is not saying that we are mating with your species at this time, for we are not. But we are trying to understand more clearly the DNA sequences that make us individuals and we know for many cases which area of the DNA brings these things about but we are not quite sure how the enzymes work with this. Any questions? Um, question uh, applications how do you uh, uh, how people could apply those that have visited the question has been asked to them during the interview if they would want to donate DNA and this is one way that we are getting that information All right. the other way is if you would write to human colony in a comment space that you would wish to be included in this selection, please let us know. What would be the rights of the hybrids? This is to be determined between Grokvik Nier and the volunteers in the colony will help us decide how to proceed with these rights and regulations. Is the DNA donation painful? No. You will not even know in most cases. I think the volunteers would like to be informed to know that the DNA has been taken and about their children. They will be acknowledged as such. Not like prior programming, which no one was informed 
Now information will be given to those who volunteer and have been chosen. Would the hybrids live on colonies or on air or any other planets? We are making a colony just for the hybrids in this program. So they will need nannies from yeah, humans. We are aware of the needs. So the people could now volunteer as nannies and uh, children cares. Care. We have volunteers in such ways. Oh, you don't invite any more? We are inviting more, yes. But we do have already volunteers from the colonies to do such things for us. Those who have already experienced with hybrids and other aliens will be most fit to be at this particular colony and they are willing and able to help in these ways. We are also choosing nursing staffs from your planets and from ours. Is it our planets? What would be the other planets? No, I meant planet. Thank you. What would be the success rate of the hybridization? At this point, if you can, if you count the entire program from inception, hybridization was 60% successful. If you count the program from within the last 10 years, it is 90% successful. But there has been few recent hybridizations within the last five years. How? What? Uh, can you estimate the percent of hybrids that would be comfortable on Earth? Physiologically, who could visit Earth and be comfortable on Earth? Seventy-two percent. Uh, what would be the chance of the donors to meet their hybrid children? Considering how many donors there will be, probably 8%. Thank you. Uh, what would be the criteria for choosing the donors? What do they need to tell you about themselves in the application? They would. They would. They would tell us about their lineage slightly but we would know by their DNA testing what heritages they are from. If there is a hybrid who wishes to be a hybridization program, we would accept that as well. Are you interested in motivation of the volunteers? What was Why would they choose to have hybrid children? I mean, there could be very different reasons. We will consider that, yes. Excellent. Any more questions about the hybridization program? If um, the hybrid child isn't healthy or well, what would happen to that child? We would do everything in our power to make the child well again. However, there are situations when the damage is severe and then the council would decide what would happen. Can you tell more about the council, on, on the uh, hybridization council? The same council sits in for interviews at this time. They have taken on this added responsibility and added four members to the council to help with this deliberation. How big is it? We now have 20. Where is it located? It is on one of the crafts. Uh -huh. What are their major races uh, participating in it? The Grookfrickneer races. Yael Pleiadians? Yes. Lirans? Lirans and the new reptilian group. What are the proportions are there? 
we try to get it evenly proportioned, male, okay. female, and species. Excellent. What percent of them have children? 78%. Excellent. Uh, people online, do you have questions about the hybridization program? I have a question. All right. Uh, I had a hybrid child. Apparently, when I was 30 years old, some DNA was taken uh, from me, and this hybrid daughter, apparently there was an accident, or maybe terrorism, I don't know. Anyway, she died recently. So, um, I would be eligible since I already had a hybrid child, is that right? This is correct. Yes. If I and another, if I and a um, man wanted to have the hybrid child, to like both offer a DNA together for a hybrid child, how would we do that? That would just be the request on the lines. You would just write it as it is, in line okay. on the comment section. Use the. Okay. Same program for the volunteering to be taken. Use the same program and write your specifications. Very nice. We have a window online where you can anonymously submit information. Yes. We will take that into consideration. It is an interesting suggestion. <laughs> Hey, people online, do you have any questions on hybridization program? Hello? I guess everybody is silent. No. Nope. All right, very good. Bryant, hello. Uh, there is Hayan coming and everybody else. All right. I think we are good with that news. Thank you very much. I'm very happy my proposal has been uh, accepted. Yes, this has not begun as of yet, but it will start shortly, within the year. I see. We find it a more agreeable way to study and learn about each other. For your people in the Colony One will be able to get the information through telepathy. I don't understand. Can you explain? Yes. When there are hybrid children, mm -hmm. we can explain to them what is happening through your telepathic people in Colony One. They will understand better what is happening than us trying to explain. I understand it now. I'm very excited. I think it's a great development. This is a great challenge and success. Now we pray that everything goes well and that all people are equally satisfied with results that may come. Yes. Uh, I have a related question. There was an invitation by Queen... What was her name? Uh, Queen Anna. The other one. I forgot her name. Aurelia? Yeah. Uri. Queen Uri. Queen Uri in Andromeda. Yes. Uh, we have several applications. Uh, did any action happen on that? I didn't speak to them anymore. They are taking charge of their own program. And yes, they have contacted some but nothing from your program because they felt that was unfair. But there are people who are projecting far out enough for them to sense their presence and they are helping them to project to the planet. Nice. Why would it be unfair to take people who applied through... They do not want to upset anyone or any program, so they have decided not to use 
anyone on your list, if anyone on your list wants to be with her, then they will have to tell her. Oh. There are some ways to do this. She is monitoring the planet, and those with strong vibrations will be able to communicate their will. There was about five applications on my list for people who applied to Queen Uru to visit. So they will use those then. Yes. Because they are specified. Yes. Yes, that will be proper. Yes. I don't have any more questions. Thank you for your visit, but if you have anything to tell, we are welcome enough. Uh, there is much happening with the videos and the movies that you call yes movies they are facilitating a breakthrough on the television show cosmos one day they find that this show would be a stepping stone to good communication for the earth for those who are watching it are interested in raising their vibrations and knowledge about the universe when you say breakthrough you mean the aliens would broadcast all during the show they are thinking that this might be appropriate wow would it be coordinated with uh, any Earth authorities, or it would it be just... must be coordinated, and the people that have this particular programming are very open to this. Oh, so to the co cooperation, basically. Yes, but at this time there is no program established. I understand. I would warn you against doing it without invitation. If we there would is not. Yeah. If there is an invitation of a group of people and it is consensus or at least a large part of the group of people invites, then it is appropriate. Coming on TV television without uh, invitation would be considered as an uh, intrusion. We are working with one particular writer from that program to write in a introduction to our presence. Nice. If possible. Nice. This is not finalized. Of course. But this program is of a great interest to us. 96% of the facts presented have been true. Nice. I should watch it. Um, do you have any advice to me in the job search or investment search? If not, that's fine. I am not here for that. That's okay. I understand. But I do see that you are working at it. And please continue. Thank you. I will go for now. Thank you for your visit, and there's a great news, very uh, encouraging. I am glad to see you all. Thank you. Bye, take care. Okay. Bye, take care. Greetings. Greetings. Hello. 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 
I see that Takur has been visiting. Yes. <laughs> ah, sounds Safira. like Safira, yes. Hello, yes. Safira. Yes. yes. I cannot hear her. She said, I miss you. <laughs> yes. I miss you as well. Mom? Do you also have star? <laughs> Mine is. Like sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Lakesh. Was that William? Yes, yes. Ah. Demanding as usual. Hi, Lakesh. Hello. Hello, Lakesh. Look up Hello. Cindy, Lisa, Safira. Yes. Alaini. I am happy to be here. Mrs. Ryan, uh, Gabriel, Hayan, uh, Mike, and Michael. Michael B. All are welcome. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Lakesh. Hello. What's new? New. New for me or for you? Uh, for you and for us. Ah, for me, I have a new, what you would call granddaughter. Oh, congratulations. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Grand Palakesh. <laughs> Her name is Zinfelatonsapa. Zinfelatonsapa. Yes. Felentun, <laughs> no, you said it all. But that's okay. <laughs> But it's okay. She's wonderful. Good. We'll just call her Phila. Okay. Is this your first franchise? No, this is my third. Okay. And so that is a so. I am one hundred. In Earth years, I am one hundred and thirty-seven. We usually wait till later in our lives to have children because we live much longer than you and also we gain a maturity about how to handle such things. And you, as you know, as the farther away in age you get from a child, the less you remember of your childhood. So this brings us back and helps us to learn about our childhood again because we must we must refresh ourselves. And then we become very much childish again. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long do you live? We live over 300 years in your life. Oh, so you're about my age then? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but bringing ourselves back to the youth is very exciting because along with our curriculums, Bringing ourselves back to being youthful with telep telepathy. You see, when you are telepathic with a child, you understand the things that a child knows, and then you remember in your body the things of childhood. And it's a wonderful, exciting moment. I've already been telepathic with my grandchild, and she is perfect. She is amazing. And such a nice shade of blue. <laughs> How many children do you have? I myself have four children. From one wife? From three. From three wives. No, three significant partners. Uh -huh. um, do you guys breastfeed? Only for a very short time. How long? For maybe three months, your time. Uh -huh. The reason for this is because it builds the immunity system of the child. However, when you're telepathic with the child and let them know what the breastfeeding does for them, it, it, it connects with their psyche and their subconscious, and they are able to get the ingredients that they need much quicker and so then after that we give them a, a substitute for what you would call breast milk a and a formula exactly thank you a formula 
And this is to wake up many parts of their body quickly so that they can uh, understand what is going on around them. Not to take away their childhood, not, no, but just build awareness of, of what a child should be like and build awareness of the world we built for a child. So your females have breasts? Not like yours. Your females are more voluptuous. Our females are much more um, uh, smaller, but still, they are very good at what they do. Can a man breastfeed the, ch the children? I don't think there has ever been a time where the male species is the feeder, except in some of the species that have no male or female components necessarily. They're both male and female, so they could breastfeed. Even but errand males wouldn't breastfeed? Errand males would not breastfeed. Strange. I mean, it's so f much fun, you know. If you do it genetically, you can modify. Yourself. I am sure that they could make themselves into a form that could. I really wanted to breastfeed my kids. I, if I had a chance to do that, I would do. Yes, I think I would also. Do you have belly buttons? Belly, but oh, where your umbilical cords are attached within the womb? Yeah. Yes, we have something very similar, yes. So you give live birth? We have more than one umbilical cord, but they detach automatically at time of birth. So you have, we have a, a series of belly buttons that were used inside the female as they are being nurtured inside the, am I yes, making yes, sense? Uh -huh. And then at birth these are disconnected automatically as they re are released through the channel. Do you speak to the fetus during the pregnancy? We do many things during the pregnancy, yes. What, what other things? We play music for it, we play our voices for it, we bring down the sounds of water and nature and things of this nature to get them to understand that there are things outside the womb and make it more want to come out. Is the father present during the birth? Of course. Did, were you present during the birth? Of course. How many of you were there? There was 15 of us there. Did you celebrate? Oh, we celebrated, yes. <laughs> we celebrated much. Yes. I uh, took time from away of my curriculum to do celebration for this. This is acceptable. Uh -huh. I will not take me long to catch back up. Yes. So I am very happy. Does your granddaughter remember your past life, uh, her past lives? Not yet. When would she remember? We will invoke that at a later age when we see that she is ready to understand her past life. It is a ritual that we invoke to have our children study their past lives and become aware of them. And they will then write a curriculum about that as well. What's your curriculum now? What do you do? My curriculum now is Earth Science. <laughs> Earth Science. Because oh. I am trying to learn more about this planet. Right. And I'm learning about Earth Science on this planet. And I'm learning about the people here more and more. I grow fond of Earthlings more and more as time goes on. Anybody has questions to Lakesh about his life and granddaughter? Mm. I do. Lakesh, do your children grow up with you, with their parents together, or is it more communal? It is. They grow up in a 
it is communal, but you can see your parents anytime you wish, at up to a certain age. There are times when they are in curriculum or celebrations that are not for children, and there are times when they want to see their children as well, but children are privileged to see their parents whenever they want, and if they, their parents are in curriculum, or if their parents are in celebration, or, or in other kind of dispose, it is proper for them to take time and see their children. Yes. Even if it is a short time, they are to telepathically communicate what is happening. So that there is understanding and not sorrow. Or disappointment, or missing, you call it missing, I think. Missing, missing, det be detached. I'm not sure of the words. Right. Are you ready for questions from listeners? Did that answer your question, Sophia? Oh, sorry, I, I sorry. Did that? Someone, um, how, quick, how quickly do the children grow compared to us, our, our childhood? They mature quickly, but they still remain in a childhood setting until the age of 10 or so of your Earth years. Thank you. That is good. Yes. All right, so the people on the, on the web, uh, please prepare yourself for the questions. Caroline, um, Gabriel, Ayan, and Michael. I will start with a question from uh, Fluffy. Do you remember Fluffy? Fluffy, yes. Uh, the Korean girl in China, yes. which you misinterpreted as Jewish. Yes. All right. Not anymore. All right. So, uh, I hear breathing sounds when I meditate. It sounds like somebody is breathing really, really close to me. The pace is slow and sort of sounds like a snake. What is that I'm hearing? You are hearing a reptilian. What else more do you want to know? Oh, is, it, is he good? Yes, he is a good reptilian, but you are hearing him because he is watching you. Oh, he's a guy? He is not a guy, no, but he is an observer. Why is he watching her? She has traits that are interesting to him, and they are allowed to watch people, but they are not allowed to interact with them or change anything about their lifestyle. But if you can hear him breathing, that means he is almost in holographic form. Uh -huh. And so if you would turn around, you might be able to see him quickly. Hmm. Yeah, but you know, you need to interrupt the meditation for that. Then don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Lani, are you ready? Lani? Hey, Lani! Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hi, Lakesh. L Lani, hello. Yes, hello. Um, <laughs> just a few little questions, really. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear, yeah. but we can see, but that's okay. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm trying to turn my camera on. But you want to know if you were your last past life? Um, possibly, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, also, I, I had um, a channel in with Zach the other day, and the Andromedans come through for me, and we we were cut off. Do you know the reason why we were cut quite abruptly cut off? There could be several reasons. Um, Andromedans communicate through a different way than I do, and it can be cut off by solar flares or energetic pulsations through the, the universe. So that is a possibility there. It is a possibility that their planet had cut them off at that time because there was information that was not permitted to be 
given and they sensed that it was on the, its way to you so they had to stop it. There are many ways and many things that could cause something like that. But okay. I, my personal belief was that their planet cut off that transmission. Right. Okay, because um, Zach also mentioned about some kind of alien language he got through his end as soon uh, as we... Oh. This is very, very possible that they stop this from happening. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did wonder. Any other questions? Yeah, just just one um, kind of really concerning me um, about my son William. I don't know if you're allowed to give this information or not, but he keeps being sick. He keeps being unwell. This has been going on for a while now. Can't get any um, doctors are a bit baffled by it. I'm just wondering if there's anything you could see which is going on there. Ah, oh. one moment, please. Okay. I think I know what these answer to this is, but I'm not sure. Just let me check in my double check. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Is the illness in the stomach? Um, yeah, 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 I believe so. Some of it is rooted in emotion. One moment. There is an implant. Okay. They might have to remove it if it's causing any problems, but I will check and see where it's from. I am not certain. Okay, interesting. There is an implant, yes. I will check with them to see if it is causing the problem. But they have okay. not told me at this time. Okay, yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, it's just quite concerned for me. Really. Yes. And also, there is some emotional... There's a part of this is emotional. There is some, I think, upsetting him emotionally slightly, which is adding to the problem. But it is more the implant. Okay, great. It will not. It will not. It will not continue because I will inform them. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, it's just we we're, we're, we're pretty baffled by his sickness and. Um, yes, they will not be able to find it. It's the implant is part organic, and perhaps his body is fighting it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That puts my mind at ease. Any other questions? There, I think there might be, but I'll let somebody else be next. All right. Uh, Gabriel, your turn if you are ready. Hello, Lakesh again. Gabriel, how are you? It was nice speaking to you last time. Oh, thank you. It was nice speaking to you as well. Do you have anything to say to me before I ask my question? Not at this time. Go ahead and ask. Have I been taken by extraterrestrial beings? Not recently. Not recently. Let me check something. Do you remember the experience? No, I don't remember anything ever being taken. You were <coughs> not very old, perhaps six years old. Yes, you were taken. How did you know if you did not remember? I don't know if I remember right. 
What is it that you that's made you suspect? Well, I, I just you said that I've been visited many times, so I suspect that they have taken me sometimes. Just once. But you were very frightened. And they did not want to frighten you, and so it was a very short very short abduction, if you will, because you were upset and they returned you quite quickly. But you have no memory of this? Perhaps they purposely blocked that from you. Or well, I don't know anything about that. Is there something in your life that might reflect that there was a trauma at one time. No. I, when I was a kid, I was very frightened. In had many my, nightmares and yes, what I'm doing, sleeping. They are very sorry that they have caused those. Yes, and but there, be aware of now that they are not wanting to harm you at that time and so I I wish they would have let you know at that time that they were not meaning to harm you instead of just taking the thoughts away from you because it did cause nightmares and fright for you in your subconscious which you cannot help and I am very sorry for I know who did this it was Reptilian, but um, you have been visited by other species as well. You're a very interesting, interesting individual to them. They are just moment, one, one moment. Are you still having nightmares? No. no? I kind of shut down my dreams and now I'm start trying to remember my dreams because ah. I felt very, very, some dreams I had very confusing like I've been very ignored in my dreams and been very lonely. This makes sense to me. Yes. Your, your screams for help were ignored by your parents because they could not help you. They could not hear them. And so this feeling of being ignored is very understandable. But when you were returned, you were asleep. When you were there, you were screaming. When you were returned, you were asleep, so they would not hear you. And so in your dreams, you feel ignored because you felt that your parents should have been aware of your screaming, and they were not. Does this make sense to you? Maybe a little bit. They will send you something to help you. I have contacted this particular species, but not the particular members of that species that were with you that time. So I will have them put something with you, a calming agent, an understanding. They will put the understanding of this into your mind so that it will help you calm your fears. They are sorry for your trauma. But I didn't feel so bad after it. What was that? I haven't felt so painful about that. No, they, that is good. I am glad. But still, there are subconsciously some elements of damage. I, I will move to the next uh, questioner, Hayan or Hajan. Uh, you're on, on air if you like. Hello, everyone. Hello. Who is Much that? love. Who is this? I am Hayan. Hello, Hayan. Hello. Much love to you all. Much love to you as well. 
What is your question? Um, have I been abducted as a child? One moment, please. Or, or any time. I see that you have been visited, but I do not see an abduction. All right. Was the visitation uh, recently? Recently? You have been visited recently, yes? Yeah. In my dreams. Yes. What did they look like? Well, they kind of changed uh, their shape. So, so I don't, I don't remember them. Ah, but, but they were tall. Yes. And slim. And and what? Slim. Yes, I believe they were, the Adians. But let me check and make sure. Actually, hmm. they were not Pleiadians. They were tall, you yield. They were the taller species, yes. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <sighs> yes, they were yield. Yeah. That dream made me remember another dream oh. in my dream. So it was a catalyst. It was very special. Wonderful. Perhaps they wanted you to be aware of something because your future will it will help you with your future. Yes. What are I you have a general Yes. Go on. I said what are you is your occupation? Uh, I work with um, Mentally disabled people. Ah, very good. Yeah. You are a light worker then, yes. Yeah. And I How love the you interaction. Are you in a program to bring them back to normalization, or are you in a program that facilitates their needs only? Do you do uh, training? My question. No. No, just uh, just facilitation for the need of them, making them happy. Yes, yeah. but you will realize as you move into this field even farther that you will be able to train them because they will relate to you in understanding, some of them, not all. Some of them mm. are too severe. But there are some that are not too severe that can learn things. And this is something that you can do for them to help themselves become more valued to themselves. You mm. see, it's hard for them to value themselves because they do not know themselves. But you can give them an idea of who they are if they can learn something small. Does that make sense to you? Yes, because they understand a lot more than, uh, than people think. Yes, that is what I'm telling you. I was interested in this concept of making them feel well, but also to make them feel even better. For having them learn something, the excitement of this will be overwhelming for them and will bring you much reward and joy. Yes, it does. We have uh, some... They, they chose to come into this uh, reality as disabled, right? Yes. yes. We have large people like this on our planet, not the same, but similar. Oh. And we teach them to become part of reality as much as possible. Due to our telepathy, some have 
limited telepathy, and that is their weakness. But we train. Some people on our planet are facilitators of such training as to bring these people into normality and bring them up as far as they can go for self-worth. And I see you as that kind of person. You see self-worth and you want them to see self-worth in themselves because they are more understanding than some people realize. This is your mission in this life is to help those that may seem like they cannot understand raise their vibrations and help the world heal and come yes. to the next level. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you for being yes. here. It was meant to be. It was meant for, to be for you to be here. You are a special helper in these ways. Wonderful. Wonderful. But uh, I want to add, <clears throat> maybe it's the other way around here, because I feel that they are much more intuitive and emotionally evolved than uh, many other normal people. You are correct. And that way I can connect with them, you know, without uh, speaking much more easier than uh, regular people. Oh, yes. Their, their telepathy is close to the surface, yes. It is very sensitive of you to realize this. That is how they communicate best, is through their form of telepathy. Do you understand? Yes. And therefore they teach you the greater of the heart. Greater of yeah. the heart. Yeah, yeah. Heart. Nice. Yes. nice. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I just uh, a small question, General. Yes. Uh, can you tell me something about either Syria or Malaysia, the plane from Malaysia? I am not allowed to tell you what happened to it, but I can tell you this: it will be solved, and there will be perhaps. They will come back. They will have some surprises. They already know where it is. They're keeping that from you. Yeah. They've already found it. Or at least that's all I will say. Wow. All right. Let's go to the next questioner. Michael, you're on air if you like. Sure. Hi, Lakesh. How are you? Hello, Michael. How nice are to you? speak with you. Nice to speak with you, too. I remember you, yes. Yes, uh, I had a nice uh, time with you last week. I appreciate that. Yes, you have much energy, and you will be a much a great light worker at one time. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I had an interesting week. Um, did anything happen this week, in in particular, uh, possibly in my dreams? Yes, it did. Yes, you were given energy in your dream this week. I did that. Thank you. I had to do that for you. You had to. There were some things I stimulated. You had an interesting dream, but it was energetic. Yes, it was because I woke up several mornings um, much happier than uh, I usually am. Uh, usually, I'm pretty grumpy, and my family and I would like to thank you, <laughs> especially your family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially your family. But yes, I understand. Yes, you needed to move in a different direction in the morning times. Yes. And you needed that push. And I gave it to you, yes. Yes, you did. Thank you. Is there any way to get any more of that? <laughs> I will visit again. Thank you. If you have the time. I will, I will try to make time for that. But yes, there is much energy within you that needs to turn positive. Yes. And it is slowly moving in that direction as you feel. You see, the, the charge of positive happiness and energy destroys negativity. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. And in this sense, you have started to build a positive space. And this space will move out 
and kill negativity. There are emotions that need to be dealt with. Yes. 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 But your positivity will help deal with these. But you needed a jump start. Like just jump started your battery. Yes, I appreciate that. And um, it feels more familial now, so I'll know what sort of uh, beacon to go back to once I feel not so good. Yes, and your family will relate to you and give you positive feedback. And you that will be a help for you because you need that positive feedback. Also what you need, you need some touch. Not sexual, but you need human touch in the sense of hugging yeah. and sharing your share an intimate moment with those that you really care about this will energize you in a different way and bring about more positive interaction I understand that's, that's uh, great. what you call a hug a hug a hugs, hug are free. <laughs> hugs are free Jim has a shirt that says what is it? Arms are for uh, hugging. Arms are for uh, hugging. <laughs> uh, I cannot remember now. Um, no, he said it was uh, something about hugging, but it was very clever. I, but you see, it are it passes me by now. <laughs> um, oh, we'll hug for food. That's what's oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll hug for food. Yes, that was what it was. Um, Mark, do you have any more questions? Can I just ask one more? Yeah. Yes. Um, you were saying um, I have family or uh, familial ties to the Andromedan? Yes. Uh, are, are, they, um, are they strong ties or are they um, multidimensional? Are they far back or, or can I really, really um, connect to them now? <laughs> Hello. What was that? <laughs> are you good? Yes. Um, they are we can stop ties you. than you might imagine. Let me put it this way. Yeah. They have astrally projected into your being, but you have not astral projected into their world, but they have come to you. And so the tie there is strong on their side, but weaker on your side, but one day it will be strong on both sides. Oh, fabulous. Are there any symbols I can think of? There is a tie from the other side that is very interested in your development, yes. And your chemical base has changed because of drug use mm -hmm. in some ways, and they are studying that as well. Right, right. Okay, thanks very much, Lakesh. I appreciate it. I love you, and see you next time. All right, Brian. Many blessings. Thank you. Brian, prepare for your question. I will read the question from Curly. Um, like, yes, you remember Curly. Uh, she is a French from uh, New York City. I don't know if she is now in New York City, but she was recently uh, an artist. So she says, when I was young, I dream I was naked in a white room with other and I was floating on the top of the room, smiling. I just have to concentrate in my head and push the floor, period. The others looked anxious. What does it mean? When we win it, I will check for you. Thank you. What is her name? Ah, Curly is a nickname. Oh, I know Curly, yes. Your energetic path is much greater than those that you were witnessing around you with the anxious look. There is an ability within you, if you tap it, to become a great light worker and work also to levitate. This is a... Ooh, let me see. Just a moment. I must check to make sure that that is a truthful statement. Uh, uh. 
Oh, they do not wish me to hold you up. Hold you up, yes, shit, you have your paw shot us. Don't they? Okay. I am permitted to tell you that your energetic self will be much greater shortly. There is a time coming when you're going to feel an energetic charge, and this will open up many things in you, even more than you are aware that you have within you. And that is all I'm allowed to say about that. All right. Um, Brent, uh, you're invited to speak now, if you can. Oh, if you Bryant. Wish. I remember Bryant, yes. I don't know. He, oh Brad, you're muted and we can see you, so I'm not sure you're there. Please prepare your questions, personal or otherwise. Yes. Brian is alive. Brian. Um, hello. Hello. Brian from Saskatchewan. Yeah. I have no questions today, just uh, observing right now. Can you do have a question online about autumn? Yes. That's your question? Yes. They are not allowed to interfere with anything on Earth unless it is an emergency. You are correct. Um, it seems unlikely that they will have to show themselves. They are a more solo they prefer not to be known to anyone. They are very private. But they do want to help and they are not negative. They are positive in their influence whenever they do. They have The last time they influenced the earth was many, many years ago. But they have not become involved in our history as earth history. Your history. Thank you. And they have not become involved in our history either. But... Brian, do you have anything else? No. Well, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, do you. Do you wish to read us? You have any your own questions of your own? Yes, I can read some questions. Right. I have to go shortly. Okay. Okay. How long have I been here? About 45 minutes. Oh dear, I must go soon. But go ahead, ask one more question. Okay, this question is from Gisela. Gisela. She asks about the Sasquatch people. Yes. She said, were the Sasquatch people the first humanoids on our planet, and where did they come from? They were not the first, no. But th they visit here. They do not live here. The Sasquatch have been, have not lived on this planet, They, but they do investigate it now and again. That is why you cannot find any traces of them after you get a photograph of them. They are extraterrestrials that are also selective about where they go, but you can tell by their body structure and how they move that they are not human. They are a friendly species and a shy species as well. But they enjoy the Earth. It's much like their native planet. It's the closest planet to their native planet that they've ever found. Wow. Are they Centurions? They are from Centauri space, yes. Hmm. But they are not humans, and they are not living on Earth. Does that make sense to you? Yes, very interesting. That is why you cannot find them ever, or a place where they reside, because they do not reside here, but they do visit. And they have special areas that they as well, of course, 
because they're cooler. Kesh, Sandy has a question. Do you mind answering another question? Sandy, just, yes. Well. Hi there. Just regarding the Sasquatch, uh, yes. I know a lot of people have interactions with them Yes. Uh, on Earth here. Yes. And uh, so they do communicate? Yes. Well? They do communicate if they do not feel threatened. Um, there has been such communications, and they are found to be very advanced, as you know. And their communications are of a very natural, grounded nature. They're a very grounded species, and they and their traditions are very grounded. Meaning they they do have technology and high understanding of knowledge, but they prefer not to use it when they don't have to. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. But they do use it when they have to, or when it's necessary, or when they when they feel like they should. That is a bad word, should. But mm -hmm. when they feel. I do not know the word. Just a fight. Whatever. But they do like the net being natural and being grounded. And it's very healthy for them to feel this way. Mm. So I'm going to go now. Thank you very much for your answers. You. And it was Bye, Lakesh. Um, Bye. I am going to visit my granddaughter. Oh. Oh. Bring a toy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. No. Love to you all. Love to you. Thank you. Love to you and the baby. Goodbye. Actually, I heard some of it, but I was really sleepy during that session, though. Yeah, that was a good session. Oh, was good? Yeah. The technology behaved well. People heard us. Okay. Did you guys think it was okay out there? It was excellent. Great. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jim. It was great. Yeah, let's continue the discussion if you like. Do you have any topics for me and Jim and everybody? Anything you should discuss. I had a, a more serious question for Lakesh about the Ukraine and World War Three, but he was so happy about his granddaughter. I didn't want to bring up the heavy subject, so oh. I'll wait until next time. <laughs> what, what was your question, and I'll ask him. Oh, well, you know, Nostradamus and some other um, famous people who have made predictions. Uh, you know, predicting like in the next three years, the situation which started in the Ukraine could escalate into World War III. And from another source, I've heard that the reptilians have certain bombs placed around the world and they're taking up hostages as to keep, you know, the good uh, friends, the ET friends from interfering in such things. So I wanted to ask him about that and the possibility of World War III and could they really intervene. That was my question. Yes. <laughs> but it was uh, heavy, so. We asked that question, yes. There are two questions. First question is whether uh, it can escalate in World War Three, and second question, if reptilians are uh, doing all that nasty stuff and taking hostages. And I know the answer to one of the questions. Go ahead. I know the reptilians are speaking to the leaders, and they're influencing them through their high... Not directly. They're not directly talking to them, but they have their a network of hybrid reptilians that are speaking information to the leadership, and that they are uh, influencing him. And at at this point, Putin has been pretty much hypnotized and brainwashed. So 
Um, he has no feelings, no conscience at this time. If you look at him, you'll see that. His blank, he's a very blank. If you look at his face, it's so blank. And that's what they told us. Yeah, that's what Lakesh told us in a recent yeah. session. We asked him. He said they, they're not allowed to say much about politics. He's basically prohibited from speaking about politics. Right. So we, we asked all sorts of questions about Ukraine and, uh, you know, uh, the underlying secrets behind it, and he basically had to withdraw himself from all these answers. Yes. But uh, in the really? questions of Putin, he said that. He said that there are, Putin himself is not uh, alien control directly, but he has two uh, close people who keep him under control. Yeah. They are influenced by whatever, some, some other negative aliens. Right. <laughs> Um, and and, and uh, my question was: Is Ukraine uh, very important for um, you know for history? And is there like war to there? Armic uh, And his answer was: Other way around. Ukraine is just a playground for the dark forces to practice their new tools of mind control, of mass mind control, and and manipulating well, masses. That was his answer. He said there will be more of that. It's just a starting point for more of the of the bad stuff where basically wars are ignited and manipulated. Yes, because the chances are the war won't be in the Ukraine. It'll be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. so, do you know? Yeah. How do you know? I just that's my thought. Your thought. Okay. That's my thought. We just need to separate Lakesh says that No, was, I didn't that that wasn't Lakesh. All right. That wasn't Lakesh, that was me. I was citing Lakesh. It's not that I'm right, I'm just kind of want to have references straight. Oh, because you know, Jim also has a, a good insights and uh, so sometimes you know where from they come and sometimes you don't. <laughs> uh, but um <laughs> re reptilian influences yes, we remember we spoke to rept good reptilians and they refer to bad reptilians who have a lot of different plots. So yes, mm -hmm. there, there are reptilian influences. They are present, mm -hmm. and you know it's multidimensional. When when Zacharias spoke, if you remember, Zacharias has several channelings. It's you know in his channelings, it's way darker, way way darker. Um, you know, like in Lakesh's channel, there is our world, Lakesh's world, and nothing else. In Zacharias' channel, there is tons of layers of different earths of different dimensions, and some of these are really really dark and it all kind of um, cross talk and talking to each other and there are popping up bad, bad people, bad aliens, bad humans and uh, mm -hmm. Zachariah's channel is it's way way darker. There is slavery on air in Zachariah's reality. Is. And the problem is you know is it in parallel time or is it in the future time or is it in a different part of air or is it in a different reality of air, is it a different timeline? You know, it's much more uh, transparent than Zachariah's channeling, but uh, you know there is a lot of darkness. Mm -hmm. And Bashar's take here is, you know, uh, you end up in reality in which you are focused mentally. If you think about darkness, you kind of gravitate. Is it are attracted to the timeline you're focusing on? So if you want to f to end up in a good timeline where everything is shiny and beautiful. Just ignore it. Be be aware, but don't focus on it. Like you know, put lots think, of blocks. I think that's where Lakesh is at as well. So yeah, I, he it, doesn't really pay much attention to the darkness. I learned from Jim. I know that. <laughs> um, I learned from Jim. You know, he has something negative, and he says block it. That's what Jim says, mm -hmm. and it's blocked for him. He's ignoring it. it. He knows about it, but there is a block. So the same thing for me. I uh, I ignore a lot of stuff. Uh, intentionally, mm -hmm. I focus on positive. Really, really focus on positive. And it works. It's what it's, it's actually. The other cheek is all about. You know, yeah, it just, actually it's works. There, it just look this way. I mean, there are times when well, I don't think that I can survive, cheek. and it's just something <clears throat> happens and I survive. So. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great, great breakthrough today. We have hybridization program announced. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's a historical event, by the way. Until today, all hybridization was 
involuntary basically. There was some invitations, but but there was no official voluntary hybridization program for humans. Now it's official. Guys, we are invited, you are invited to donate um donate our genome. Mm -hmm. And it's a change of the history. Now, now it's different. You see the perspective is very different. Mm -hmm. All hybrids until now were either victims or intruders or like yesterday there was a movie X Men. Mm -hmm. My kids were watching it and you know they're, they're, they're friends. It, it's very dark, but but sort of sort of in a playful way dark. It's kind of mm -hmm. you know kids dark. Yeah, children's dark. Um, but they're like X Men. What what are the rights of hybrids? Right. Uh, we are hybrids, and you know what if they introduce genetic tests and then. Uh, the rights of hybrids would be controlled by the majority, which are not hybrids. So that's a big question. So now there are volunteers who really want to volunteer to create hybrids, and and at some point they will be coming down officially hybrids. Yes. And there would be. And this like, was your idea. Say again. And this was your idea or I, suggestion. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Somebody might have put it in my mind, but it was my idea for sure. I welcome that. And, and do you apply at your website or? No, he he has yes. started that idea many months ago. About three months ago, yeah. Yeah, I, many I posted months ago. Uh, an invitation to the aliens to create a volunteer hybridization program, because they closed the Gerk Fitner closed the hybridization program. They they were signed by others to do the the open contact and. They couldn't come and say, we secretly abducted you, now we come to do open contact. So they officially closed the accreditation program. And we know one victim of that. Uh, our friend Edmund was really living towards that hybridization. He, he knew he's been abducted, and he was, it was major meaning of his life. And at some point, they stopped abducting him. And for him, it was a personal tragedy. You know, you have, you lo he lost the the reason, you know, the main meaning of the life, because, you know, his life here, he made his life here certainly is a disabled, blah, blah, and withdrawn from the society. He was, you know, communicating with peers weekly, day, and he was a frontier, and basically, I, I, I got that idea. I thought that they stop it. How about we make it official and require informed consent from the volunteers or provide them information so they will have to consent and then they will they need the to know. Do you want to comment? No. no? Alright. Um well I'm listening for to what you said and it. it's it's true. But and also um the because they have been able to talk to the telepaths in the colony one, this has also given them a real good reason to do a hybrid program because they'd be able to communicate better with the hybrids as well. So also the colonies the colonies were the my, my idea. Obviously it's you know I picked it up from the air, but I promote and then I wrote a whole book how to design the colonies. Mm -hmm. That helped them to establish several colonies. Now they create a new colony for the hybridization. And I said, you know, you will need nannies and child child carers and uh, all sorts of volunteers. And it was all in my book. You know, mm -hmm. the idea the, the idea of hybridization colony wasn't mine. That that I didn't propose it. I thought it would wouldn't be a colony. It would be like a distributed hybridization program as it was before. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense now. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Well, I think they need to keep them in a colony and then distribute them later, maybe. Uh, an important thing to keep in mind is that uh, the hybrids grow really, really, really fast. My child, my hybrid child, was conceived way last year, and he's now 15. Yes. Well, they have a different timeline, and he can control some portions of his growth from what I understood. Yeah, it's it's up to him. He had a say, a, uh, I, I spoke to him through Jim when he was still 
uh, an embryo, an embryo, a fetus. Wow, I don't remember that. I do. <laughs> yeah, and um, and uh, and I, he had, had the choices, you know, to uh, how fast to grow. Just to let you know, I don't watch all the videos. I, I don't like to see myself. <laughs> I don't like to see myself on video because it's disturbing for me. So um, a lot of times I don't have, I don't know what information was given because I didn't watch the video back because I, I start watching it and go, ooh, the cash, all that hand movement. Oh, I just can't watch it. But anyway. Uh, when was the last time you visited the website? Um, probably two weeks ago. <laughs> Um, can you be more precise? Jim, 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 you look you're, you're awesome when you channel. <laughs> you for watching the information. I know. I I just it's so hard for me. To All watch compliments go go to Lakesh and Takur. Yeah. <laughs> Safira is saying that she thinks I look good when I uh, channel, but you see other people see it differently than I do, I guess. But uh, you're but I haven't watched a whole video in probably. Several months. So, so you sure you didn't visit the website in the last week? I I visited it, but I didn't last do week? any. I visited last week, but I didn't do any. So my question is: Lakesh knew about a question by Brian about atoms. Yeah. Did you read it? Oh, it's on my. It's on uh, Skype. He wrote me this. Question. Okay. I just. He wrote my the, that question on Skype. And I asked Lakesh about it, but okay. I didn't get an answer. So, all right. So I, I wanted a miracle, and it was just a you know, plain. Did answer today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Lakesh answered that. Mm -hmm. Um, well, and I tried to look it up. Autons on Google, and it's not there. So, I didn't see it anywhere. I couldn't find it. So I go, well, Lakesh, this one's on you. What was his question? He wanted to know. I'm not sure. I have to go look at it again. It's. Uh, it was something about he wanted to know why what they had to do with our development and stuff. So where did he hear? He that. saw it, he ran across it on the website somewhere. Somewhere on the website. Uh, no, no. Oh. Somewhere on the website when he was looking at things. So he just asked a question. I don't even remember what it was. I just read it to to the cash and that's it. And wrote back something like, oh. uh, I'll ask him. Yes? Because I get like. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, go ahead. I'm gonna go now. I it was awesome to be here. Thank you, Jim, for letting me use your phone oh, and no to be on the webinar. Thank you, Max, for setting everything up, and Jim and everybody there. Thank right. you. Wish you a great day. Welcome, Safira. Bye. Thank you, Safira. Bye. You're welcome. I'll see you next week when my internet's working again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That was Safira. What was I saying? I, uh, I think you're done. Okay. Uh, anybody there on uh, online? We have three people left. Do you have any topics to discuss or questions to me and Jim? I would like just first to say thank you so much for your wonderful work. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. And... Uh, Okay, your your presence is very important. Yes, your pre it's yeah. your period. Thank you. And uh, let's discuss that topic. By the, by the way, the, the psychiatric and, and a quick and a quick thing. Just Gabriel, are you from Sweden? Yes. Yes, me too. Let's talk later. Oh, okay. Cool. How how do you connect, guys? Do you have a ways to find each other? No. On your on your website, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just Wait, can start a new post and say Sweden uh, light workers or Swedish light workers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was. Um, what did you want to say? I already said it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Start a new post. But it's, it's 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 people you know that really help us out. So that's oh, fabulous. I wanted to speak about the psychiatric patients. Uh, Oh, okay. Who was that? Uh, what's his name? What's your name? Oh, Hi Hayan, right? Hayan. Yeah. Did yeah. you work with the uh, retarded adults or retarded people? Retarded is not a good word. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
advanced ones. I understand. Yeah, yeah. That's what they call it. I mean, it's it's. I don't know what other word to use. Psychiatric. Mentally disabled. Disabled. Okay. Mentally. Obviously, uh, you know, the, every one of us is 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 a, a bit on the other side. Oh yeah. I don't know any normal person. It just, <laughs> it just it doesn't exist. Everyone has a part of that. It's I'm just, sorry. If retarded, it was a bad word. It, it, it just, felt like Lakesh was one step ahead of me. We don't talk. He was. Yeah. Can you explain? You like, can read his mind. <laughs> he, he can you explain? That, that it's a specific reason why I asked the question and things like that. Uh, can you specify? Because I think I noticed, but I wasn't sure. What what question did he say? I asked if if he. I have had been taken. Okay. Yeah, and he was had yeah. like I remember being taken or something like that. Oh, you didn't say that? No, I just said asked. Oh, so you kept it in mind, but he started speaking about being taken before you pronounced that. No, no, I meant, meant like that. I had a certain plan or something. I don't know. Yeah, he seemed to know pretty much about your situation there. Uh, that's interesting. Let's. Uh, so when you watch it again, the, that video, yeah, uh, note the time point where that happened and put in the comments right under the video and on, on the website so we can go and see that miracle because miracles happen and 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 uh, and that is you know we have very few proofs but that would be like one of those. <laughs> I know Bashar sometimes answers the questions which are not uh, are not pronounced, or he can guess something. It's like psychically. Uh, a, a miracle happened to me recently, uh, a, a tiny one. I hear music last week or so, or a couple of weeks. I hear earth music, you know, familiar, you know, familiar recordings. I can play them in my mind when I sleep or when I'm half asleep. And lately, like a couple of days, I had. Uh, Louis Armstrong, what a wonderful time, uh, you know, what a wonderful time uh, song playing in my mind. And it was during the dream, but then it, I kind of already consciously played it in my mind during the day. And then I drove my car yesterday and I played the radio. And I was thinking about something said about how I would say, back for my right now, how would I be back here, say, guys, donate and blah, blah, blah. We have public supported, and I was sad about my situation. And then the last phrase of the song, I realized it was "What a Wonderful World" by by Armstrong. You know, I don't know who is the author, and it was a performed by somebody else. But but it was I had a premonition about it, or I kind of induced it. Basically, somebody played it for me on on the radio there, picked it. On my radio, so it was a little miracle. Right. I have a feeling you weren't done talking. Did you have something else to say? Okay. <coughs> it was interesting hearing that he they're going to help me with that. Oh. Okay. Oh yes. With what was it? The abduction I, part. I, yeah, he wanted to relate that to the aliens, the repti the reptilians which did the abductions, and ask them to fix your uh, trauma. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, well, he already knew about the trauma before. No, he, he Lakesh already knew about the trauma before he said it. Uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, they communicated, but then Lakesh promised help. Uh, I mean, meditation and you know, they. Were oh, okay. Like, I'll I'll have to look at that. And see what. All right. But right, um, okay, I'm glad he was able to get through to you though. That was good. So, um, I hope uh, to speak to him sometimes more. <laughs> I <laughs> added you in Skype, Ian. Sometimes mm -hmm. we can have a session. Oh, cool. Very good. Hayan, uh, can you tell any stories about uh, uh, telepathic talents of, uh, of your patients? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. It's not, it's not um, mentally telepathic. It's more emotional. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's called empathic. Empathic. Yeah, empaths. Yeah. 
and uh, they are really sensitive if if you are out of your vibration or, or so to speak they they know it before you do and they can take advantage of that and uh, yeah and they also can pick me up as I pick them up mm -hmm. so Excellent. yeah yeah That's it's hard good. to describe it's so abstract so I can't really My understanding. give a story you know? How many of them have extraterrestrial connections? How many of them are hybrids? You're asking me? Yeah. Do you feel that? That they might be hybrids just too advanced uh, for modern... I recently started to think about that. Yesterday I, w I was at a party for the mentally disabled and I was looking at them at the crew and was thinking, I wonder how many of them are... I, I was thinking the same question, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. Uh, basically, uh, I haven't you know, known anything about it until you guys showed up on YouTube. Basically, the humanity is evolving, and we are moving to the fourth um, dimension, fourth density. And the new human species is being born. It will take a couple hundred years, about six, eight generations to get there. And many qualities mm -hmm. of uh, future humans uh, being telepathic and empathic and being much more connected to others much in, in the telepathic level so these people are much more open and less protected so they mm -hmm. go ahead oh, well I know what you're gonna say you you would be surprised how many people tell me that their children are are actually advanced um, and it is true that the children are becoming more advanced emotionally at earlier ages and they're advanced psycho psychologically and they're they're in tune to alien visitation and psychic powers and fourth dimensional stuff and they they're aware but yet some of them are not aware but they just are showing so much of that energy that's to come in the future and so they're the beginning of a, a really great thing so so many of these children are don't fit very well into modern society especially into rigid hierarchical structure mm -hmm. in a structure where you require to say things instead of think, uh, feeling things mm. uh, structure where you have to be exact because much of that is feeling more than exact knowledge. So in the school they might be performing really poorly. Right. And um, also you would, some of the mentally challenged are actually astrally projecting sometimes mm -hmm. and visit their, if they're not with their parents, they'll visit their parents and let them know that they're visiting their parents. You know, I've had that with several different people as well, that their child that does not live at home visits them astral projecting themselves there because that's how they can communicate and that's how they can move. They're advanced in that sense, whereas they may not be able to fit into the culture. They're, they're advanced in their mental capacities. So. Do you mean after they passed away? Passed away? No, during their lifetime. Because oh. I have, they're called. Some of them are indigo children, and some of them are um, have different names, crystal. but crystal children, yes. And uh, they're advanced, yet some of them do not. Yet some of them seem like they're challenged, but. They're only challenged because they cannot really live in on in reality. They're living more in a spiritual realm. So, yeah. I've heard that explanation too. That they are more spiritual. Correct. So and some have to, to remain in the body. Right. So I, because it's really hard and dark, to, and uh, it's too too low vibration to be in the body, especially if you're not successful. If your body becomes sick and if, if you feel uh, lack of love and you feel low vibration, it's really hard to be in the body. So sometimes they will just leave the body so it would be, I mean, 
be in and out. So you have people spacing out, and especially in school, it's very it's punished. You are not allowed to be away from your body. You have to be in the body and responding to the teacher. So yes. if you're daydreaming and elsewhere, that's a, a sin <laughs> in the school, right? That's true. That's very true. And some others have multiple souls kind of taking turns in the body, like which would be multiple personality disorder. And and the problem with the school is they don't teach people individual talents, and the children have a talent in a certain way. If they are not allowed to work with that, they can't. Not all the children can learn to read and interact the way. Very good. Yes, that's true. So some of my friends are working with autistic children, and uh, you know they are very talented. These children, but it's it's a challenge to help them fit in the society. Some of them cannot, and some of them fit only with help in the in the special conditions. Yeah. I, I feel that I'm, you know, most of the scientists are autistic. You spend, you prefer spending time in your lab with your uh, experimental subjects rather than, you know, being with people. And for, for, for me and a lot of my scientific friends, it's much easier to write, you know, tons of emails, letters, documents than, you know, do a one telephone call. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of emails and texts, so <laughs> if I don't get back to everybody all the time, it's, it, either they didn't answer your question yet, or I just haven't had time to come back to your... Yeah, text everybody, yet. you know, Jim has poor vision, yes. and, and my vision also goes down. Uh, please uh, excuse us, I, you know, if you don't read your stuff, it's, it's, uh, oh, I it's because of, I, I don't think Jim should, should read anything. I think he he he's just fine as he is. You know, telephone calls are much easier for him. So, so call me. Yeah, call <laughs> him and uh, and uh, talk to us during the sessions and don't overload Jim with writing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> and if you write, do a double the triple size font. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, you can write to me. Um, I do. I will answer when I get a chance, or if, if they answer your question. Because uh, uh, a lot of people ask the cash question, and uh, some of them get answered and some of them don't. You can, he doesn't always answer. So I made business cards for Jim, and uh, my vision wasn't very good. I mistyped the address. I showed it to Jim. He didn't see the number. So <laughs> I didn't see it. So either. after a year of having oh, eight months of having business cards, finally somebody you know couldn't find his house. Yeah. So, you know, and they, they just, said, oh, you put a nine instead of a zero. I'm going, oh. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. So that's how my, that my eyes, it was in a light blue color, so it was like mm. hard for me to see anyway. So so now I have to redo my cards. <laughs> oh, you just can pen, pen write on them. Yeah. yeah. But I I want to add that I'm a Reiki master now. So I just pen write. Mm -hmm. Right back here. <laughs> It will save you fifteen dollars. <laughs> I need that. And yes. these cards have personal touch. When they handwritten, yes. they have yes. personal touch. I'll pay, yes, I'll I'll have handwritten all over them. Scribble. <laughs> exactly. That's what yes. you should. Yes. I I have a question for you. <coughs> Please. Yes. Um, maybe you can take it with you if you don't know the answer. Um, what's happening in Syria? You know, are are they the same? Um, Influences, alien influences that are happening uh, up there. In the war in Syria. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'll have to ask them. Yeah. I'll ask them. I know Syria has the same uh, name as Syria. They have a kind of connection to Syria, uh, Sirius star system. Actually, it's a triple star, but. Uh, some of our ancestors come from Sirius. Mm. Mm. But it seems like a peaceful place there. So I don't know. Uh, there were positive and negative Syrians. Okay. It's also called the dog star, and there are some dog people or dog intelligent dogs there. But you know, mm -hmm. and also cats as well, feline humanoids. Now, we have some communication with Sirius. Uh, these guys are very. Uh, then I know we all communicated with, with ladies, Cynthia and another lady. Mm -hmm. They were very nice, very enlightened. 
Mm. Centia, yeah, that's who. Passed. Yeah, the uh, but um, we didn't have any information f about the recent conflict from the uh, from the up there, from any uh. up, from any aliens. So we don't know. I say, you know, I, I always see global conspiracy in every in every conflict. Uh, you know, that's how they make money. They have a global banking system, and they they play on the market, basically financial market. They buy certain kind of currency or uh, papers, and then they create a conflict and. Mm -hmm. Oh. And they win a lot of money because of the change of the course of the of the currencies. And that'll eventually be our downfall for the. <laughs> so every every time the price of gas goes up, they create a conflict down in uh, or up up in the Middle East, and prices of uh, oil go down, and they gain a lot of uh, funds because they you know uh, this conspiracy costs them a lot of money. Ninety nine percent. Above ninety-five percent of all that goes into secrecy. Just having agents and keeping everything secret is very expensive. Uh, so nobody, you know, ninety-five percent of people there have their money, but they don't really understand what the system does. It's kind of they are blind to what it does, and only few on the top have bigger idea. And above them are negative people and negative reptilians and negative others. So I, I always see global conspiracy. It's uh, you know all these conflicts are engineered and uh, they. It's a lot like Ukraine. Exactly, if they and you know on both sides are good people, but they all manipulated on on every side are good people and they all manipulated into the conflict. And you know I'm not all following the news, but I heard there was snipers. You know most of the victims in Ukraine were. Snipers shooting from the window, windows, basically, uh, these are agents of secret forces creating the conflict. Because when you have victims killed on both sides, they kind of uh, revenge. So to ignite that, uh, they use, you know, that's how the first world war started, second world war started. They, they created artificial conflicts just to ignite it, and then it's revenge on both sides, and kind of they can... Uh, uh, I always look at uh, Baltics and Czechia, Slovakia, how they they survived all the provocations and they end up in a peaceful way. There was no big revolutions, there was no killing, there was no uh, global rep governmental repression. They kind of succeeded into peaceful resolution and resisted all provocations. And Ukraine, unfortunately, is, is uh, I think I, they also do pr pretty good. You know, compared to the amount of provocations, they, they do very good. They they uh, resolve it largely in peaceful way. Obviously, there is uh, much much more upheaval, but hopefully they wouldn't do the war. Obviously, they gave the, the Crimea away without the war, which was uh, congratulations to all parties involved. I think it was uh, nice that yeah. they didn't involve themselves in the bigger war. All right. All right. But Thank I, you. I, I always bl I, I think they all call each other. I think the Mossad and uh, KGB yeah. and uh, uh, CIA they all uh, all call each other and keep keeping yeah. very close yeah. connection, making sure they they <clears throat> they're on the same side and they control the conflict. Uh, yeah. I think it's all coordinated between all of them. You know, they call each other and say, "Hey, I, I, are you doing that?" You know, we'll stay away for now. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> All right, uh, I I really hope uh, Pen Pentin would come through. You are not ready for Pentin, right? You're tired, right? No, you're hungry, I, right? He, oh, you asked Pentin and he doesn't come through. All right, let's do it next time. Hopefully, he'll come next time. Yeah, he he was ready and willing the other day. So, can can you give it a try, or are you hungry? Um, I can give it a try. Do you want a, what a cookie? I, I'll, I'll bring you a brownie. Brownies, brownies. Yeah, hold a second. We'll, we'll, a, I want a pathetic point from this. Okay, very good. You're welcome. Yeah. Sure, sure. Just, thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll just get a little one. We're going to say goodbye to Lisa right now. Bye, Lisa. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Okay. Thank bye you bye. for your participation this afternoon.
Yeah. Thank you. Coming next time? Yes. Thank you. And next time we'll do the same thing in uh, the same place, hopefully. <laughs> That's good. All right. Oh. Oh, Sorry. in the kitchen? I'll Just see there is one wire. Jim, you're not that qualified to jump over the wires. It's <laughs> these days. Shivai. 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 Is this when you were here? Yes, yeah, thank you. I put it, help you put it on. <laughs> so you have line, line in Brian stain. But, you know, even if anybody leaves, I still want uh, to get that poem on record. I, I, I was, you know, it was a. Sh I, I intentionally didn't record anything. I wanted a personal session, and somebody came with a poem, and I, and I couldn't uh, record it. And I said, mm, I can't record it. Could you come later? And uh, I lost it. I didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. Oh. Cindy's still here, right? Yeah, yeah she went through. Hmm. <laughs> Tried another, we need to be painting if he wants to come. sense anyone around. So <laughs> that's fine. Thanks for trying. And then nobody's there. Oh, all right. I, I think they just turn off. I mean, they use some technology to get to you. And uh -huh. uh, Fishing maybe went to get some tea or something. <laughs> There's nothing there right now. That's okay. <coughs> that's another experimental point, which is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll come through eventually. Because I know that he was very anxious to give it to you. <laughs> I remember I, how excited he was about it. I, did they do a mistake? I mean, I really couldn't remember the poetry, and I couldn't record it. You know, I obviously I mean, said it that I would welcome it, but I wouldn't be able to record it. And he decided not to give it at that point. Oh. I gave him the choice, basically. Oh, okay. He so he didn't give the poem. No, he All didn't. Right. Oh, I thought you just wanted it on. No. I wish what is it? Okay. I wish to know what is it. Your things are very uh, nice. Very nice. Oh, All right. Yeah, um, I guess we'll do the blessing and uh, and we'll <laughs> stop here. We still have another hundred or two hundred people who will watch after that in the recording. So 
Okay. So we'll speak to them. Um, thank you for your support. Last session was supported only by a couple of people, but it justified, you know, our time to my wife, and it really helped us keep going. Um, our money situation, my, my family money situation is, we are like hitting the bottom at the, at the moment. But yeah. I, I'm interviewing, so so to and so submitting applications. Mm. So hopefully things will get 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 yeah. up. Uh, get your jobs. I wish you best in getting your jobs. Uh, obviously, most of the jobs come not through cold calls or cold applications, but through connections. So, so I use LinkedIn and I connect now to lots of people, and I, I'm not afraid, not ashamed, because, because it's a fair trade. I really want the job, and I will do my best to be at the job. So, so uh, I'm just looking for places where they need me, basically. I'm not bothering people just to give me a job. I'm, I'm really trying to find a place where it would be a good fit. So I recommend you do the same. Uh, go out. Uh, even if, if the job is sort of not as wonderful as you wish, you still can make a big influence just by being positive and shining the light and that sort of thing. Even in a very negative situation, I now understand where the main, you know, in most of the labs where I worked, there was a main sort of activity there which was flawed. There was a flaw in it, and it made me upset. But now I realize I still could do better there by shining a light and giving love to people around and supporting them, because it's a, you know, it's a communal activity. Even if the main idea of that is not producing the positive impact. There is still a lot of communication going on and you can improve a lot of things. Do you, do you want to do a blessing? Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you, God, Father, Most High Light, shining into us and through us and through the universe. We praise you and thank you for all the things that you do for us, how you enlighten us, how you move curiously through the galaxy and the universe. Ask that you give us guidance. Send us the things that we need to survive. We just know that you are there for us, and we believe that. And we thank you for the aliens that are helping us. We thank you for the spirits that are helping us, and we thank you for all, all involved, Mother Earth, Father Sky, our higher selves, our spirit guides. We thank you for all of these different tools that we can use. Thank you and praise you for all that you do. We just want to ask for healing for those out there who need a touch, who are listening, who need elevated, take away their depression, take away their whatever it is that they need taken away or bring to them whatever they need to be brought to them. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Lainey and Brian, uh, have a wonderful day and evening. Thanks, Lainey. Yes. Thanks for coming. It's good to hear you. Yeah, it's nice to have you. Nice that you uh, found a, a chance to, to be online and we had people around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, your presence is uh, making it nicer. nicer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Makes, it someone won't come in. Yeah. Makes it very pleasant. Oh, we've got a, a new person here. Hey, somebody else. <laughs> I don't recognize your face. Who are you? I can't see. A man with a beard. Hello. I'm Nick. Hi, Nick. Oh, hey, Nick. Nick, oh. Nick hey, from... I'm on how are you doing? I hey, see. I know Nick. How are you doing? We're just saying our blessings and uh, living. But you will have everything in the recording. Yeah, I figured. I just wanted to stop by because I was at lunch at work. I just got to lunch, so... Uh, do you have any questions to us which uh, are burning? Any uh, urgent? A burning question? Uh, no, I just, you know... So many good things have been happening all around me. I feel a lot of presences lately. Good. Nice. Just, oh, I knew you would, yeah. Nice to see your face. 
ever since I got like connected to you guys, like everything's just completely expanded in my life, and like I can feel the presences of entities like coming to me all the time, and it's just wonderful. They're talking to me, and I'm re I'm writing down a lot of what they're telling me to say, and how they're teaching me how to think, and I'm learning how to develop my telepathic abilities and. Um, Excellent. I don't know. It's just been awesome since I met you guys. So I just wanted to tell you guys and thank you and everything. Say hi to them, and uh, uh, I wish you best in your in your expansion. Thank you very much. And yes. You guys too. You guys too, definitely. Thanks, Nick. I'll talk to you soon. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good, Jim. Okay. Bye, All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. I'll talk bye -bye. to all of you soon, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Where did Nick from?